Well, is it a sign that the times are a trend in the making? Corporations and banks cutting back this year on lavish holiday parties. Lee Ron David is the founder and president of Eventique Event Planning Services. His clients have included Deutsche Bank, HSBC, Goldman Sachs, and others. And he joins us in studio today. Lee Ron, great to see you. You too, Lori. So talk about business this holiday season. Businesses, you know, are coming back this holiday season. Since last year, with the downturn of the economy, this year we're coming back, coming back strong, spending in different ways. You know, uh, we've got to be very conscious of how corporations are spending. So, how far were you down last year versus this year? How much are you percentage-wise willing to make up? Uh, we're willing to make up about 20 to 30 percent. Okay, uh, so that's a decent year. gap. So it's definitely a decent gap. Spending in different ways. When you say different ways, explain that. Depending on the company, uh, you know, we have corporations who are, you know, looking to keep their team as a, as, a, as a united force, trying to build up morale, you know, in the workplace. So whether it's bringing the party to the office or keeping it, you know, outside of the office in a team building environment before celebrating. So they're spending more how and cutting where? Uh, spending more on keeping the, the, the team united and building the morale, even though the meaning the they're partying in the office per se, as opposed to renting out another venue, a lavish venue, I should say. And that really can streamline costs, or at least keep it out of the public eye, right? Because there's Correct. been such a PR nightmare, especially with the public banks. Which Correct. leads me to my next question: Is are you hosting or planning parties for? some of the banks you have in the past that have shareholders to, to report to. A hundred percent. And, you know, even with shareholders or with, you know, a hierarchy, you know, a level for the larger corporations, they really need to show what we call in the industry lavish shame. You know, you can't spend lavishly and show it. Uh, so we're spending in different kinds of ways. We're spending on team building, you know, before we go into a holiday. Is there luncheon. caviar? Is there champagne? There's no caviar. There's Is definitely there a DJ? no champagne. Are people we're, dressing up? Are they doing, doing black tie? We're kinds doing of a DJ and we're doing background music. We're doing, you know, basic hors d'oeuvres and a nice environment. But again, keeping with the team building some element of business, bringing it into the, you know, into the holiday party atmosphere, so that at least there's a return on their investment of a party. What about the private financial firms, some of the private equity funds or the hedge funds who? don't have, should they have investors to respond to, but they are not in this spotlight of oversized executive compensation and bonus packages. Are they able to spend a little more or at least be a little bit more lavish in their holiday entertaining? Yeah, they're definitely being more lavish in different ways. Again, uh, you know, going for a more expensive wine as opposed to uh, out of, you know, a, a celebrity performer. So, but they're definitely spending. One thing I found was ironic is bankruptcy law firms. Uh, since last year, they've been partying, you know, in a big way. I know it's ironic to say that, but, you know, it's, uh, that's their business. <laughs> what kinds of evidence are you seeing or hearing on how Wall Street and some of these big firms that you're entertaining or planning events for are being sensitive to what's going on on Main Street with unemployment still elevated and the housing market still in the doldrums? Not spending money in ways they don't need to. Uh, spending just enough to keep, again, boosting the morale during the holiday season. People need the boost. You know, they don't, they would rather have a bonus than have a lavish holiday party. Indeed, indeed. So then how are you, if that's the case, if a company is deciding whether to boost the bonuses as much as they can in this climate or throw a party, how are you, as an event salesman, encouraging them to throw that party? Figuring, figuring out a way to get them a return on their investment. So what's their, whether it's an event for their clients or their employees, what is going to bring them value out of the event besides spending money to, you know, feed and, and, and have, you know, free drinks for their employees? Can you give me an idea for an average Wall Street bank what they would spend for a holiday party? How much does an event cost? <laughs> Depending on the number of people, average size 500 to 1,000 people, and they're spending anywhere from... Uh, 150,000 to 300,000, and that's just covering costs uh, on the basic food and beverage, oh. not any high end entertainment. Any crazy requests this year? Uh, crazy requests. Did I put you on the spot? <laughs> I don't mean. You mentioned celebrity, you, you have celebrity performers. Anybody um, coming this, out this, this year? This year, it was really about the team building. We brought a lot, uh, one specific team building company that does a lot all over the United States, uh, Eagles Flight. We just worked with recently for, for an event. And they, they brought in, you know, an unbelievable speaker who really captured, you know, the attention of all the guests in, in, on hand. And 
was able to unite them through some team building exercises before they went into their holiday luncheon. And then as far as within your firm, have you had to cut costs, maybe reduce your staff, make any changes to accommodate the changing economic times? Uh, we're, we're basically selling what we own, and we own a lot of equipment, so instead of outsourcing, we're keeping it in-house. Uh, we, we don't really, we haven't cut back on staff and employees because we need the service. You know, the service is what this business is all about. Well, Leron, David, thank you so much for My coming pleasure. in and sharing your experience. You run an event planning company called Eventique. So good luck yes. through the remainder of the holiday season. My pleasure. And we sure appreciate you coming in and sharing your experience Anytime. with us. Anytime.